And, and then after high school, I volunteered for an NGO on climate policy. And I guess that is where I really connected to sustainability. <laughs> And, and then after high school, I volunteered for an NGO on climate policy. And I guess that is where I really connected to sustainability and what climate change means, what effect it has, and how important it is. So I guess beforehand, I perceived climate change to be this gigantic topic um, that, you know, I could rationally see as being the most important and, and most kind of grave challenge of the 21st century. But that did not really connect with me, that, that I did not really have kind of uh, a more emotional relation to. Mm. And it I was think, too big. Yeah, too big, but also... Yeah, too, too, too big, but also, I, I don't know, it just it didn't really feel like my thing. I didn't really perceive myself as an environmentalist and I had kind of this assumption that um, taking, taking care about... I mean, not, not, so, not really much about taking care about the climate, but like really being passionate about the climate and, and really making this your main priority when it comes to talking about what change you want to see in the world is, is more something for, yeah, people who in some sense identify as environmentalists or kind of had to do with these activities in the past and I didn't really identify as that. <laughs> um, so yeah, but, but then I did the volunteer year at this NGO called German Watch and then I connected to the people who actually, you know, had worked on or at least many of them had kind of been greatly concerned about it for many years or their whole lives. And that, that changed my perception of it. And then it also became kind of closer to my heart. And I guess since then I've been just struck by, yeah, the, the magnitude of uh, the danger we're running into and uh, the kind of gravity of the cliff that we're speeding towards.